Yeah, I'm gonna get 10k mashes in me. Bless, bless it, man. Is it? Announcement to all of the girls, but he said to give them the same hotel, pum pum, and give them all year round. Stop it! Go and buy the man something nice. You have a good man to spend money upon him. I have this mentality to have a old man to spend money upon man. Spend the money upon the blood clot, man. You rather on a rather buy a wig and go over sheen and all them because I'm there. Book the man as part here. Men like roses to give him money bouquet for him gas tank. Buy him one shoes, buy him something nice. Take him out for dinner. Take him out for dinner. Something nice. I see him out there, pump him on the giddy man all year. All the food some man do is put a little red bulb on top of the pump on February 14th. So man, if no period come on the day or the day before the man goes cook, that is the only thing you have after the man every single day. Every time for the year and pan February for this year, but you know, look for big if you don't want to be a decorated room. Why not you decorate the room for the man? We have good man spend the money upon them and stop with the number come back. That's what I mean, so no me mean man where no pretty dan I go love angel me I send this a song I go right over to pretty dan right over there I said play play with y'all song yeah I said, pretty dan I have no problem when pretty dan know say sugar Find the bad girl them when nice and pretty. She not have no problem. Ongo well me find worthless girl. Ongo that at time I'm a pretty little mermaid have problem. Oh, what, what, DJ? No, say something bad like yo, Ian it. World it this. It's not a time. It's not a break. It's out forever. Mm. That song is bad. It's world changer, bad. world changer, world changer. I was say then they're on the live. I never know, say yo. I never know. Somebody send it to me to me WhatsApp. And me just Empress press Misha. Yeah. The song is bad. I never listen to this song all now with my eye open. I saw this song bad. Angel, when you sing about God and then type of something there, people feel it to the core. Can it touch them soul and then spirit? Angel, I'm going to repeat it to you. You work already. 
So me, I'm going to make you know more as a strong, pretty agent. Your work are ready. I know one or two females in the business now have the amount of popular song where you have it. Angel, you it already. You eat whole heap of time. So anytime you see you walk on past stage, if you come out before me, Angel, me kind of worry, you know. <laughs> me not take nobody spread up. Me kind of worry when Angel come out before me. Me kind of worry. Our Angel knows that nobody know I come out after cargo. So Angel, how we not get no show? So me, me I wonder, I what the problem? I was it. Mm. You don't understand how powerful Angel is. I know how powerful. When Angel walk out by any show, brother, the place will lift up like any one of them, them new galia. We just move. I tell yourself, if you, you have to afraid to walk after Angel, so big, oh, you don't know how big you is. Me know the little stigma will depart you. They might act like say oh, you are alone for two man. Fuck that. You understand? Me, sometimes you have to make people help you carry your bird, mama. Me must have somebody help Jesus carry cross. You know? And that are the problem. I know your talent or you have. And if we don't say it, when a man come out and come say it, say, yo, we don't let go of a woman. Let go of a woman. Greetings. I notice that it is quite commonplace that whenever many of you see videos with something horrific happening to children, you will say, a decimal omega prison, a decimal omega jail. I would like to respectfully submit for those of you who make these statements, and if you really mean it, that you're being selfish. Now you might say, we're going to talk about, about selfish, or you have to be selfish, because in your mind, you know, in doing so, you'd be protecting your child. But that wouldn't be the case. What you would be doing is taking revenge for what happened to your child to make yourself feel better. Now remember, say your first priority as a parent is to be is to be there for your child. Even more so, God forbid your child experience a, a horrific traumatic event at the hands of somebody else or the act of somebody else. You know, those post traumatic effects that they'll be going through, that phase that they'll be in, that's when they're going to need you to guide and protect them through that phase. Because horrible acts can be quite pivotal, you know, in um, personality development, and it can be like a singularly influential um, factor in, you know, your child turn out and, you know, how them function for the rest of their life in society and for themselves, and, and their capacity to be successful in what they do and to be optimally functioning in what they do. So it's absolutely imperative and critical that you are there for your child should they, God forbid, experience a traumatic event. That is not the time for you to consciously do something in response that you yourself already are saying you know will result in you being incarcerated and put in prison. Your priority if something terrible happens to your child, is to be there for your child. Physically present and psychologically present. All right? So if something happens to a picnic, God forbid, you have to exercise restraint. And I forgot, hold it. Still hold them accountable. Use law enforcement, some other means. But do not. Do something that you yourself already know are going to send ever prison. That's not a good idea. Neither for you, nor for your child. All right? Make up on yourself.